how to see balance in static or moving states. And it comes back to this again. Oh, the foot position. Comes and, that one's like third. Uh, and you better put it back up. At least in the membership site, if not here. So, I would suggest, first of all, there's a, it refers to a book in several pages, and that whole section is in, and I'll put that on the membership site too. But basically, this is number one, and that goes all the way in. So what this is, you already know, probably, if you remember. I remember. So the idea, you have to understand the, the theory of this walking. So what this is, the shaded are full pressure on both feet. Anything that's white is off the ground, so that foot would be like this. Or right there would be toes up as we're walking. So as you're walking, there's two primary um, strong points on the floor, contact, for uh, where you can't be pushed, and two weak points. Or there's two, two primaries and there's always two minors, or sometimes more. And there's weak ones too, so right here, uh, the strong ones is I believe it's left and right. Not yeah, forward and backward are weak ones. Yeah, front and back are definitely So this weaker. is your secondary, your primary strong one and your secondary strong one. So as you walk now, the big thing is as you go through these one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, is you will see. Where is it? Oh yeah. So this arrow starting here moves like a clock. So you see it going backwards here. To there, to there, 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 and there, towards your baby toe, because we always talk about the baby toe. And then on the other side continues. Once it gets all the way to your baby toe, it uh, oscillates back the other way until it gets to the baby toe again, or straight ahead if you stop. So understanding, understanding this, this has to go into your brain. So you have to be able to do this without the piece of paper. So basically, and you can look at that or take it. I can make more copies. So basically, I think I'll take these off. <laughs> uh, I don't like standing in shoes and ties. It makes, doesn't make as much sense. Or maybe like a part. Okay, so I'm, I just set my foot down. All my pressure is right there on this baby towel. Now as I move and I shift my center of weight, it's gonna go there. Once I make contact, it's going to go from that heel through this foot. And then once I put all my weight back there, and as I lift, it's coming off here, if you could see it, on the ground. That's how I do it. I visualize it on the ground. And once I lift off, now it's on this baby toe. So this is your best way. This is your weakest point. So if you were there like you are, and I was going to tackle you, that would be the best way. Or if I was going to do Osoto, or not Osoto, I'm going to do the Gensakanage. He's not quite fully committed here. I'd say it's probably more. Or it might be close. So this would be the best way. Yeah, see? See what happened? You start pushing Y'all already went. Yeah. So, keeping this in mind in a martial arts context, if he punches here, like that, I wouldn't want to do Gensakanage this way would make no sense. I mean, you, you might be able to do it, but I don't have to push me and fight me. Whereas, which is one of the parts of this way, you shoot through the hole because he's committed onto his right. Yeah. So, keeping that in mind, if you walk in a straight line, which we kind of do this too, if no one walks in a straight straight line, it's a serpentine, serpentine, serpentine. So if you watch the top of the head, it should it should draw a wave on the ceiling. And ideally, when you're walking, you shouldn't bob. <laughs> well, some people do. It should be very smooth. So it's going up and down. And then lastly, nobody should walk like this. <laughs> um, well, I, I do the penguin a lot during the winter. That's different. <laughs> yes, that's different. But generally, when I'm stepping forward, this is Ian. Kicho. Mm -hmm. 
uh, Ichimanji for a second, then Ihen again. So what you really should be doing is closing the gate. Open gate, close gate, open gate, and every time you walk. So, yeah. So now I encourage you to watch, do it yourself, watch each other. And the goal, ultimately, the final goal, and it may take hours, is that sheet there. You should know where that arrow is going to be at all times by not watching your feet. So if you're following a guy, you should be able to tell by looking at the back of his head where his balance points are, if any of that makes sense. <laughs> that whole ramble I just did. It does, because it's not the first time I've heard that yes. ramble, so yeah. it helps. And I can, I, someone can take this one and leave. I can make another one, or I can send it by email. But this is, this is your starting point to help you understand the concept. But once you do, it's pretty straightforward. I know, I can print it weird. <laughs> so like now, standing here straight, your weak points are forward or backwards. Your primary strong one is left and right. Your secondary weak is this baby toe. That's, you know, that's not nearly as weak as it is no, forward in that's this right. case. Yeah. But as soon as you shift, because you have to shift all your weight to 100% in order to lift that foot. So this is starting to shift almost completely, completely shifted. And now that's airborne, plus 100%. Also funny how much difference it is, or how much difference there is in stability if you're yeah. either off-center a little bit yeah. compared to side to side. And I said, there's a few things as we went, like say from white belt to now, there's a couple times I said this is critical, and most martial artists miss it. One of them is balance, sushi. This is all your position. So if you were to master position, they would do this. And then translating this to know that by looking at someone's head, you can shoot them to tell where their balance points are. Because they're going to lean, and if you're committed to the lean, you know it's over here. So every time they walk, you should see this pendulum behind them. So you attach a tail to them right there and just watch it swing as they're walking. You could. You could. And then you just have to find somebody in the mall willing to let you hook a tail onto them. Good. Well, see, this is how I, I practiced. I literally went and sat in the mall and watched people go back and forth. And I must have put about 10 hours in, because they said they put a lot of hours in. And a lot of people, older folk, they telegraph it too much. If they got a bad leg, they go way too far to one side. And they got so there's certain times. Like, really? Well, you have to stay those? Yeah. Really <laughs> <stay those. laughs> or if you're drunk and it's like this. Right. <laughs> right, yeah. You really, you'll still have to stay working like this. On, on ground or on yeah, the ship? On the ground because they look like this on the ship. And yeah, okay. Well, that, like that kind of makes sense. If you go in, in the harbor yeah. and you look at the guys, and most of the time the guys, they do deep sea, so they stay a lot on the on board. Yeah. Look at them, how they walk. <laughs> They're so really really slow, wide. It's kind of, you know, and they balance, you know. And <laughs> well, it reminds me of something like skating. If you skate for two hours straight, Probably you once go you first the get off, when you first come off, you're like, whoa, because you're not used to the change. Kind of like a trampoline for a long time, and then you get off and try to, oh, I just feel really heavy. Yeah. <laughs> so it's always, it always amazes me. You spend an hour on a trampoline, you get off, and you can't even hop. <laughs> 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 so you, suddenly your feet are swiping to the That's ground. True. Yeah. So I suppose your muscles just almost atrophy after a while to a certain yeah. point. Or... Um, I think it might be, what's the word, uh, acclimatize, like it. Acclimation. Of so if you're in space and you get used to that, when you come back, that must be Oof. weird. Oof. Yeah. Uh, There's a guy, I think he was two years in space and he's just coming home, or he just came home. Mm -hmm. Something like that. Did you, One of the Russians. I don't remember. Might have been three, three years, actually. Two or three years, I can't remember. But. He forgot how to walk. <laughs> yeah. He was just flying. Pretty much. <laughs> yeah. He's going to be in rough shape. No so, to some degree, we can do this with partners or in class, but then 
at some point you need to be able to translate this so that you can do it without looking at it. Uh, my, my first time seeing this, I really had to study it. Uh, like an hour, just staring at each step and to like totally taking it in. But now, now, but everyone's different. Maybe you can look at it like here in five minutes and like, okay, I get it. But it might be in the way it was described too. Like maybe, like it was a long time ago for me, so maybe the way it was described didn't make as much sense as. And were you ten or twenty at the time? Age would make a difference. Yeah, it would make a difference. Yeah. There's a story of a guy. You know, actually, when I tell the story, maybe you can walk back and forth. You too, Ezra, but not side by side. So by the time you get the women, you should be at the other end. So you can also look look at each other's heads and see if you can anticipate their main position points. Even their number one. And also feel it yourself. You should see that uh, TikTok thing going around behind you. It never crosses in the front. It just goes from side to side. And it's always, it makes sense. Left foot, right foot, left foot, especially soldiers in the march. That's fast, you might want to slow it down until you get it. So the story was, um, years ago, there was a guy that I trained with who was pretty, What's the word I should use? Pre I don't want to use this word, but I hate this word. It sounds like a dirty word. Prepubescent. <laughs> he was just about to hit his growth spurt, basically. So he was really good. His Tai Jitsu was really good in everything he did. Like, I don't mean like the technical side. I mean like the flow was really good. And then he hit, uh, over one summer, he hit a growth spurt. And he grew so much. And then he was terrible. Totally threw everything off because his body, his muscle memory was used to a certain shape and size. And when he grew like a foot over the summer, it just messed him right up. Yeah, that happened to me between grade six and grade seven. <laughs> Very painful and not. Yeah. You had a balance because yeah. his small brain, like the yeah. small brain, grew up. And yeah. And the balance. muscle memory of the positions he had uh, was not accurate anymore. So when he tried to move something, it wasn't the same as it was before. Well, that's the thing that's like. In my air movements of Esri to my height. Is the same like if you gain or if you lose weight, a lot of weight in a short period of time? It will do the same to, to the brain. Yeah, I believe it. Yeah. So that's all one point. But there's, see, this is technically a second Q point, but it's very similar to earlier ones. Which is why it's almost impossible to not refer to this. You know, I try to you know, tone down some of the waving. I said, I think yeah, it yeah, also yeah. depends on do you want to fit in or look like you're walking stiff? Well, when we do it here, we kind of exa exaggerate a yeah. little just so that you, could, you understand. Like the serpentine thing, it's probably going to be very subtle in more people, but that's the point is, though, it's there. And if you have an injury, and uh, someone, um, a guy, let's say a guy is walking through the mall and you need to take him down. <laughs> <laughs> and he's severely telegraphing to one side, say for a sore hip. Which side should you take him on? You take him when he's leaning on that sore on hip. On that sore leg, obviously, yeah. Now, granted, it would still work on the other side, but it would seem to make more sense if you had to put all his weight on his sore hip right here. Yeah, that's why. Because that's going to weaken his... Yeah. Will not be able to fight it? By the time he hits the ground, he might be in so much pain that he's already done. Hey! Shush! So there, someone can have that. Uh, or I can email it to you, or print it before you leave. Yeah, no, you may, you may, or can do. But it will all, it will go up in our, our site too. So, that's that. I just get a cat. 101. The funny thing is, though, with this judo, uh, I don't know about judo, they're pretty good with balance, but other styles, like Taekwondo, they never 
if they if they touch on God stuff like this, it's minimal. And I'm like, okay, yeah, yeah. Obviously, he's leaning this way, so he's leaning that way, but they don't know why or exactly how. Like, if we're leaning this way through a step, yes, it's to the left, but we know it's exactly this way, and why, right? So. Well, so think point A or one would be the toe. Point two would be towards yeah, the probably forty-five degrees off the heel. This way, that's yeah. probably directed towards this foot. No, no, no. So if you if you left me this way, back of you, if you do that, you can actually roll. Oh yeah, that way. Yeah. Ankle. This way would be a strong one. Yeah. Because then it, now you have to go this way. Yeah. And same as going through that way yeah. is. Okay. Having said that. <laughs> If I'm in each, uh, each margin, my true strong ones should clearly be where my feet are. Remember, yeah. remember we were talking about rails the other day. My two weak ones should be exactly in the middle, so if you know angles and math. Exactly in the center this way is weak, and the reverse. Uh, not reverse to this one necessarily, but reverse to this angle, right in the middle. Surprisingly enough, the back one, if you're in the posture, the back isn't nearly as bad as full. No. Now, if you're up straight, back is bad. But we also know that if we do get pushed, we can adjust. So, but not talking about adjustments, the clearest one is right here between the arcs and in the reverse arc as well. Mm -hmm. yeah. Which is why when you're doing it, now we do this and try to exploit your strong points. Not like this. Yeah. <laughs> Obviously, yeah. But a lot of styles don't talk about it. It's very important. If there were critical things in martial arts, uh, Kazushi is one of them. Um, Ma'ai is probably uh, critical. You've been around long enough. What's Ma'ai, smart ass? Yeah. Huh? What's my eye? I don't know. Of course not. Your eye? No. Look at this. Uh, Go a little bit further. One more, I'd probably say. In the distance. Um. There's more than three, but then we're kind of covering that because we're going over the three groups: pain, distraction, balance, and some. Sometimes you may hear two more because we talked about that. Entry and technique. So how you start the technique, and how you, finish the technique. And how you do the technique. Yeah, or finish it. Yeah, or just as important as all the rest. If I know his balance and I distract him and I try to do this but I miss it, I'm useless. <laughs> so your your entry is very important. Yeah. So they all kind of tie together. So in that case, maybe. Oh, balance my eye, maybe. I don't know, what would be a third and most important one? Awareness. Yeah. This is, this is in relation to my. Yeah. It is, yeah. You are aware, you keep your distance. Yeah. I would even go so far as to say psychology, maybe. Like if you're not sure if you'll win a fight, you're going to lose. You're going to lose. You have to tell yourself you're going to win, even if you're not sure you're going to. Some people that comes off as arrogance, especially if you're not in a fight and you tell people you'll always win, and I know people like that, it's hard to hear. But in the course of a fight, it's telling yourself, I might not make this, but I have to. I'm going to. Or uh, like when people are dying, why do some people come out of a survival situation way better than others because of other people? It's not that they're more prepared, it's that they're mentally refuse to give up, which is important. So I think psychology is important. Trickery even. If you don't want to fight, maybe to fake it or something, I don't know. There's a lot of things I think are important. Accuracy is important. I just read a thing, I almost posted it last night on our group. Uh, I just read a thing, it was in the Shinobi no Jutsu course there with the Natori Ryu, and it was something like Mo Jutsu. They called it Mo, no, Mu Jutsu, because Mu, Mu Kyu is like nothingness. And they said Mu Kyu is 
the state, there's three states in your martial arts career. One is you build forms to teach you principles. Second is you master those forms and the principles. And then lastly, you remove the forms. And the point of that is so that the principle stays, but you have efficiency and precision, I think it was. So this, you're not doing this anymore. They built these forms a long time ago to teach people. They think that a lot of styles like karate say they think this is karate, but it's technically not. This was invented to teach the person how to move, how to balance. So once you understand all these principles, this should go away. You build a scaffold that you can build the building. Once the building's done, you take the scaffold away. So this is scaffolding. And people, a lot of martial artists, it's that are stuck in this mode. I'll have to pull the uh, section out of the art of the samurai that I had. It's it, says, it says similar. It says uh, yeah. there are three stages of a martial artist's life. It says one, the learning. And it goes through and says that the last one, it says they, they have gone beyond, or point where they've truly mastered is they realize that there is no end. Yeah, that's true. That too. But it, com yeah. it comes across the same idea that they start out as yeah. extremely strict and then they start. Yeah, to me it's once you've gotten to a point where on the street you can just stand like everybody else stands. And when a punch comes in, do whatever. It doesn't even look like a martial art. But you know where you're hitting. You know how to hit. Nothing else matters. You know your balance. You don't have to go... <laughs> Stuff, you know, just to me is like, ah. Oh.